What's up, everybody? You tapped into the Purple Pocket Podcast, and it's your boy, R.A.P. You know what I'm saying? Man, we got to talk about our boy, K.J. Osborne, man. Listen, K.J. Osborne, as far as this training camp is going, man, he is doing the most. You hear me? So, th- to be honest with you, like, I feel like K.J. Osborne, and, and we're going to say besides Justin Jefferson, because obviously Justin Jefferson is a natural. He's doing his thing since he's been in the league. We knew he's going to be a superstar. Like, that's just a fact. We don't even have to discuss that. But K.J. Osborne is one of those players where, okay, when we drafted him, a lot of people were down on him. He just didn't seem like he would pan out, man. He had a horrible rookie season, okay? And people were like, yo, who is this guy? Why do we even have him out there on the field? But I'm going to tell you what, man. The way he works, man, his work ethic is crazy, man. Out of this world, and he has something to prove, and you can tell. So, you know, I did a I did a live show last night, man, with SK from the Purple Code, man. Shout out them boys, man. You know, I, I don't want to shout out all the names. It's a bunch of them, man. We part of the community now. Appreciate them having us on. We're going to be doing um a live show every Tuesday night starting August 16th. So y'all make sure y'all go tap in with them on the YouTube channel, man. I'll put the description. I'll put it down in the description, man. So y'all go hit the sub button, man. Let's get it cranked up before we even get started. But you know, we're just talking about the game in Carolina, man, last year, right? And I was at that game. I watched that game, man. Me and my wife went down there and watched that game. Um, you know, when he caught that touchdown to seal the deal in overtime, um, you know, man, you could just see it in his eyes, man. He, he He's not here to play, all right? He's not here to play. And, you know, I, I said when he had to step in for Adam Thielen last year for a couple games when Adam Thielen was out um, playing the number two spot, I just didn't think he did good enough. He didn't do as well as we expected. Like he he was having trouble getting separation from their second cornerback. Like the when the when the talent level across from him was a little bit better, he wasn't playing as good. But I'm going to tell you what, man. I think this year it's a wrap. Like if Adam Thielen God forbid goes down for any um, period of time, I think KJ is going to step in there and dominate now, man. I think he's he's getting past that level now where he might be considered an elite wide receiver, bro. Like, w- believe it or not, like, he's going under the radar. But I'm telling you what, man. I can see him having a 1,000 yards, right? I can see him having 10 touchdowns. Um, you know, I-, I see us, we can possibly have three receivers on the team this year that are going to have a 1,000 yards. Now, PFF came out with an article. All right, and I touched on this a little bit during a Skull Live episode that me and Dave did. Um, they have us ranked... 15th best wide receiving core in the NFL. Now, I sit back and I try to think about it, you know, and I try to give these guys the benefit of the doubt that write these articles about the purple. But it's like, yo, how in the hell are we 15th, bro? When we got KJ Osborne, and you can just go based off last year. I mean, Adam Thielen had 14 touchdowns. You know what I mean? Justin Jefferson was Justin Jefferson. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't even have to talk about that. Like I said, And then K.J. Osborne, man, had 700 plus yards, seven touchdowns. And I mean, as a third wide receiver, bro, that is really good. You know what I mean? That's really good. That's and that's us not having our supposedly star tight end out on the field that would have added to this passing court, you know. Um, And it's like, yo, seriously, bro, like how are y'all trying to disrespect us? And usually when they write these articles, They're going in and considering that we're going to have Irv Smith Jr. um, And they count tight ends as wide receiving cores when when they talk about it as a collective. Um, So we got we got Justin Jefferson, which considerably is the best wide receiver in the NFL. You know, you can argue that with any other fan base. Anybody that claims that their wide receiver on their team is better than Justin Jefferson. You can make an argument. You can say Justin Jefferson is the first receiver to do this. He broke these records, this, that and the third. All right. Then we got Adam Thielen, which has been you know, a solid wide receiver for majority of his career, man, red zone threat. I mean, just a savage out there, bro. Just a a, a student of the game. You know what I'm saying? And then you got KJ Osborne that went out there and did his thing last year. And now training camp and all that is just showing that, hey, he's even taking another step in the right direction. Like he's, he's definitely stamping himself. So I said last night on the purple code, I said, listen, 
This year right here, KJ Osborne is definitely going to stamp his name. It's going to be a wrap after this year, right? Like he's going to be a receiver that's going to be worth the bag. So we're going to have to figure out some money because he's definitely going to be worth the bag. Because unfortunately, if we don't have the money to pay him, he's the type of receiver that he'll realize he's good and he'll go somewhere and get the bag to support his family, man. And that's just how it is, man. The NFL is a business as much as we'll love him. It's a business, bro. If, if he got a team that's like, yo, you can be our wide receiver one probably, then they're going to go after him and they're going to give him the bag, what he deserves, right? But um, I just think KJ Osborne is definitely going to step into the wide receiver two role. So now it's looking more and more like Adam Thielen might even step down to the third wide receiver. And I said this, man, and this is going to be a prediction that I'm going to say right now. Um, Adam Thielen might even take a step back and be that slot or just be somebody that comes in, you know, personnel package and just, you know, red zone threat like he's always been and does this thing where KJ and, and JJ on the outside are just going to be dumb. And I like that, man. KJ and JJ, man, it's just meant to be. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's meant to be, man. We have a lot of Vikings fans that love KJ Osborne. I really, I rarely ever hear any, any like hate on KJ, man, when it comes to the Purple Gang, man. Like, we all love him, you know, love his personality, love his work ethic. And I'm becoming more and more of a fan. I never really didn't like him. I just knew his rookie year, he, he didn't seem like, he just seemed like a guy. You know what I mean? But now, I think he's turning into a, I'm not going to say superstar, but he's definitely going to become a star this year, man. I can see him becoming a star this year, and he's going to be a problem, man. He's going to be a problem. So for PFF to have us 15th, man, they bumped their head. I, I said this. I said we definitely have a top three wide receiving core. I stand on that. And as the season continues, man, we will see that, and we will come back and touch on this, and we're going to say, I told you so. All right, we're going to say I told you so because Kirk Cousins is going to be slinging the ball around the yard all season long. It's going to be fun for him. It's going to be fun for us as fans watching these guys out there just dominating. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a good year for the purple, man. I'm going to keep stressing that, y'all. Like, this is our time, bro. This is our time. And I know us having a rookie coach, the odds don't play in our favor as far as going to a Super Bowl or even an NFC Championship game. But guess what, man? history is made i mean records are made to be broken bro you see what i'm saying and just because nobody's have done it before that don't mean that there's a there ain't a first time for everything because you know what i'm saying i feel like with our vibes right now and what we got going on we definitely have the team to do it all right all kevin o'connell has to do is put these guys in the right position we just need an offensive line that can block just a little bit better than we did last year and the year before and we just need a defense that can just stop a couple more plays, man, when it comes to end of half, man. If we can just be in the middle, it's going down. We will win 12 to 13 games this season, and K.J. Osborne will be a big part of that success, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I want to say, man. Y'all make sure y'all leave y'all comments down in the comment section, man. Let's throw out some positive vibes on K.J., man. Let's talk about how raw he is, man, how talented he is, how much work he's been putting in in the offseason, man. This dude is a savage, bro, and he deserves all the hype we can give him as Vikings fans, man. Appreciate y'all tapping in with the boy. Holla at ya. Appreciate everybody for tapping into the Purple Pocket Podcast. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on. Purple Gang.